Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today we are live swatching the Bees Needs Lacquer Resident Evil Village collection. So this collection will be available on June 25th at noon EST and it will be open for pre-order until July 2nd at 3 a.m. EST. So if you enjoy live swatches, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And we are going to jump right in with Everyone Falls in Love with Me eventually. This polish is so gorgeous, but let me get to the description and price first. It's described as a purple sister to keep reaching your hand out. This is a pale gray polish with soft purple shimmer and lots of hollow flakes. And it should be $12. So I fell in love with it immediately just because of the opacity. And I think a lot of that comes from the shimmer and the hollow flakes but I am officially in love with the purple shimmer. Next up is Devour All of You, and this one is the blue sister to keep reaching your hand, reaching out your hand. It's described as a pale gray polish with a glowy blue shimmer and lots of hollow flakes. Again, $12. So as you guys may have guessed, it's the shimmer and the opacity for me. And not to mention, Bees Knees Lacquer has some of the most smooth, gorgeous formulas ever. And it really helps that they have a brush that really spreads and allows you to get a good, even application, even on the first stroke. But let's get to the real stars of the this collection. We're starting out with Moreau. This one is described as a teal polish with black to red multi-chrome flakes. So if you guys have already watched the swatch and review on Gotta Love Polish, and if you haven't, I will link her info down below because you can never have too many swatches um, of a polish before you purchase it. These are so, so, so unique, and I cannot begin to express how excited I am about black to red multi-chrome flakes. It's a cool twist on what was one of the biggest trends in indie polish like this past year. So next up is Muta My Sati. I think that's me to my sati, but I could be wrong. It's described as an apple green polish with black to red multi-chrome flakes. $13, just like Moreau should be $13. And again, these black to red multi-chrome flakes just add a whole different level of dimension to the polish. I love that because you have like the sheer wash of color. By the way, I am applying these in three coats. So I agree wholeheartedly with Carolina of Gotta Love Polish when she stated that these would also make fantastic toppers. Like if you do have an olive or a forest green you could top it with this and then still get that awesome dimension that comes with the black to red multi-chrome flakes because they still shift, but they shift within the color of the polish, which makes it super cool. Um, but here is my side by side so that you can see the difference between the blue and the purple and then also the multi-chromes in the color base. So this next one, another one that I feel like I'm going to butcher the pronunciation and I apologize in advance, but I think I'm just going to call her Lady Dimitri because I'm pretty sure Lady Dimitriesque or Lady Dimitriescu is absolutely wrong. <laughs> but this one is described as a light pinky red with black to red multi-chrome flakes. So 
Again, you're getting the black to red multi-chrome flakes, but you're also getting like a reddish colored base with this one. So I have to say that I had the hardest time picking a favorite out of all of these, but my favorite is coming up next, so I can't wait to show it to you. Well, not next, but close to next, but... I thought that these were very cool and I feel like they are just the right vibe for some of the Halloween manis that are going to be coming up. Just saying. <laughs> Next up is Heisenberg. This one is a rusty orange with black to red multi-chrome, $13. And I felt like it looks more brown to me in person, but it's up to you guys when you look at it to see what um, or how this color would fit into your collections. But I felt like it was more of a brown and I kind of liked that because I took a couple of pictures that came out blurry, but what I enjoyed about it was seeing the red shift lift from the multi-chrome flakes through the polish color. I absolutely went wild for it. And I'm normally so adamantly against having to do like three and four coats for opacity, but totally worth it with this collection. I would definitely check it out. So this one, oh my God, it is one of my favorites, if not the favorite of the collection. This is Curse You. It's described as a fuchsia sister to don't go to sleep with the same deep bronze to gold to lime green to blue shift for $13. I kid you not, I was extremely regretful that I decided to swatch this collection and swatch this polish in particular before I finished my other projects because it is that shifty, it is that beautiful, that stunning in person, and full opacity of two coats for me, three if you have longer nails, but definitely one I fell in love with immediately. And as you guys can see, here's the side by side. I wanted to try to keep like colors and like color groups so that it would be easier to compare and decide which one you really, really, really want to pick up because I'm telling you guys, like, fall is coming up and I think it was the sweetest thing in the world for Sarah to decide to make this collection at this time, especially given um, the situation with the store. But we are moving on to Donna and Angie. This one is described as a pink leaning mauve with black to red multi-chrome flakes for $13. So it looks purple to me. So of course I have a weakness to it instantaneously. I could not resist it because I love purple and then it's black to red multi-chrome flakes which I am too excited about this because I liked the black to red multi-chrome when it came out and then like after my third or fourth polish I was like okay it's it's still pretty but I'm not wearing it right now and suddenly because it's in flakes it is the hottest thing ever again so I Love this polish. Curse You is still top favorite, but here comes my second favorite for the collection and incidentally, the last polish. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave me a like. Let me know if you plan on picking any of these up and what are they inspiring you to do as far as manis? Like what themes, what ideas are you guys getting from these? But our last is Mother Miranda. It's described as a steel blue polish with black to red multi-chrome flakes for $13. And yes, I love this picture because you can see the red 
in the black to red multi-chrome flakes on my index and like middle finger just like right at the top where the light is hitting it but my bottom two fingers ring and pinky you can just see like the black and like little shimmers of the red and I feel like it looked amazing through this steel blue polish and it's probably because it gives off purple vibes <laughs> But here they are side by side for you guys to compare because I am calling it Curse You and Mother Miranda are my favorite. Um, I feel like Muta My Sati is really close because it's that apple green. It's it's really close. It's probably my third favorite. But I'm going to wrap up the video here for you lovely folks. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. If you're part of my nail fam, virtual hugs for everybody. If you're new to my channel, I hope you will consider subscribing and come hang out. As always, take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!